M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So here we've got the GD88 and in the background we've got the RT91 radio amplifier but it also converts it to a base station and we actually have a fist mic like this which plugs in just here at the back. Um, the nice thing about this is it also has a speaker so if I turn up the audio now Move the control up by pushing the white button. Push it again. There you go, now pull it up. Hey. Yeah, ma, that rings a bell. Tell them I can roam you. I think we probably moved in the past then. Like because this know. unit has a built-in speaker and they just work so well. Now the way it connects to the radio is you have an SMA connector just here which screws to the right hand back of the radio with another SMA connection. Then you add your antenna as well. And I've got it via an SWR meter. Now we're only push, we're only transmitting about two watts here, but look, if you look here at my display, I'll just show you, move this microphone out of the way. We're actually giving out at the moment from a couple of watts, 24 watts of power. And we've got a good SWR there as well. What I like about this is that you effectively you get a base station. Let's go to the B band, which is analog. Now, obviously, it's a 70 centimeter one. You can buy a VHF, UHF one, but this one is a 70 centimeter. You've got to make sure you're transmitting on the right one. Now, if it's DMR or analog, it it will choose for you and, and it will tran automatically switch. So let's go to the B section and the PTT as well. And let's see if we can uh, get onto our hubnet node. We'll just connect. So that's analog. Let's turn that down. Now this radio does do dual receive. So right now we're receiving both simultaneously. We've got digital on the A band, analog on the B band. Now the other clever thing is that this the GD88 will actually receive. Just turn that to, turn that down. Right, just turn that down. You can receive two two separate hotspots at the same time. That's what I like about the GD88. A lot of people moan about this radio. They say it's no good and you, you can't use it and blah, blah. And no, it's a very good radio. It's if, To me, it's the best, most advanced DMR radio I've ever used. The only thing they've got wrong is that it's quite hard to get a very, very low volume. You can get quite low. If I just go up a bit. Try and get a bit Best lower. Contact I've had was, uh, was Brazil. You see, that's about as low as you'll go, and sometimes that's not low enough. And apparently, they're working on firmware for that. So, I thought I'd show you this. Now, if we try, I'll get the power up on this a bit higher, and we'll see. If we've got 24 watts coming out of this amplifier now. See if we can get a bit more out of it. So, you can just hold down the, the Y here. Sorry, the flat line. You can go down, select, and then we'll put the power. I was not going to let her, so that's what's in the code plug. I'd have to change it on the code plug, so I always set my, my channels to low power. Let me try a different radio. Okay, we've got my Retivis now. 
Again, you've got to make sure it's 70 sems when you TX. So this is a 2 meter and 70. There's our meter. And I'll just show you that when I TX uh, with 5 watts coming out, here it goes. That's 32 watts coming out. And we we're never going to need that anyway. But you know, if you're outside and you've got your collinear and you want to, you know, you want someone to get you. And um, this is the Open GD77 firmware. Yeah, good morning, Kev. Oh, Hear the nice you. audio coming yeah, out there. Much better quality audio from the handheld. And what yeah. I like is that everything, you know, you've programmed this handheld with many, many things. And just for £90, and it will actually work on a Bofung as well. And Look, that's just a out. cheap Bofung. But you still if I go up, up a bit more... I'm pretty sure I've got a 70 centimetre repeater programmed in here. M0FXB test. Not there, let's try. Five. Now you've got to remember these Four. channels. Uh, but look, can you see I'm still giving out 30 watts from this £10 radio. M0FXB test. I'll just keep going until Five. we... M0FXB test. Nope, let's just Four. keep trying. Actually, I just realised what I haven't done. And that is, you've got to put the antenna connector on the top. Otherwise, it's not going to work, as you'll do now. So if you look here, we've got the Bofung running 4 watts. And we're giving out 29, 29 watts there. I'll just show you that close up here. And I'm making the repeater here at GB3FI. It even gives you the frequency. So I know it says... <laughs> 4385240, which um, not quite right, but um, the frequency is on the meter. That's the sure con, but it's still pretty good. Nearly 30 watts out of a Bofung. Uh, let's just quickly try my AAA again, which is this one. See if it does work, because it didn't work just now. But there's my AAA. Let's just see if we get any transmission. So we got the, we're got we using the PTT, remember? So look, no, that doesn't seem to work. Ah, look, so there, it's working there because that one's probably got higher power, look. M0 FXB. So, no. There you go. Got my little granddaughter in the background. So, let's let's see if we can get a contact. So, we're using a uh, £10 radio here. We're giving out 23 watts by the looks of it. And GB3 FI. Mike Zero Fox X-Ray Bravo. M0 FXB. Calling for an audio check. So you can buy two meters on that. I was thinking with my GD88, that actually cross modes. So if I set it to transmit uh, on 70 centimeters, I could actually cross mode from two meters. I think that's a separate video that is, because that'll be fun. So anyway, I thought I'd show you all this. I mean, it just works great. I'm really pleased with this. I'm just so happy with it. So thanks very much, 7.3, catch you on air, all the best.